to Kempo Corner. Uh, I'm Jack Morris, head instructor of the American Karate Studios and Karate for Christ Ministries. We're located in Tallahassee, Florida. And uh, this will be one of a series of little snippets of self-defense techniques where I'll share with you uh, what I've learned over the years. We'll take uh, a base technique and we'll do a couple what-ifs. Uh, we'll show some of the finer points of that, the uh, angles of cancellation. Uh, so I hope you understand the technique a little better, uh, and we'll have a bit of fun. Grip of death is our discussion this week. Grip of death is a headlock. And I see it, again, so much from kind of behind, and they grab you and an arm's locked in there, or a hand's locked, or the body is stopped in that position. It's from the front. So they could have either punched you in the stomach, or could have been in the middle of a fight, here they got you. Then they grab you in a headlock, and they start cranking you forward. Or they could just keep you in position. Here, just squeeze you, but it's usually some kind of a crank, because they're angry. So you're pulling me forward, and I want to get, I want a purposeful compliance. We'll do this version here first. He grabs me, I go with, my hands are up in the air. When my, when my foot lands, my hands hit kidney and groin. Pulls me from here. I like to open the hand up, use a palm heel. My knee can either buckle his leg, that's one way of doing it. Another way to really be sure that you're not going to get nailed by his his heel, we kind of assume that they know what they're doing. So I'm going to check the leg as I hit. Then I'm going to contour up the back. Turn around this way for a minute. I hit, contour up the back, and we grab the face. We anchor back from here, and then a palm heel to the jaw as our left arm contours down his arm. Now, let's add a couple things to this. You're pulling me. I'm bent over, or I'm, I'm being cranked down, I hit the groin, or palm heel the groin in the kidney, I want to contour up the back as I do this, I want to pop his head. Because I'm kind of crossing the body, the rule across the body, you hit it, or over here, I'm just passing his face, I'm going to hit the back of his head. I want to grab him now, either face, I like to grab the whole face, anchor him back. I know the base technique has a palm heel, and now he's back, front kick. You could do that. You pull him back and he goes upward. I like to keep him in position here. I pop him up. I love this. Here, I'm going to anchor him down. He's not going back now. Now, when I palm heal him, I thought, I'll hit your chest. That's where he's going. Now you can't get that, that, Stay there. You want, now that he's down and you like to do a front kick, yeah, ah, okay. And you have a kick to the groin there. Back up. Here's a couple uh, little what ifs on this thing. You grab me and my arm is stuck here, right? He yanks me, do one, do a palm heel and roll. That arm's locked up. Try this. Grab me in a headlock. Pull me down. Keep my posture. He has a hard time trying to, trying to get me. So I want to keep the posture up here. And now, I come right, pop them, grab them here, pop them. So again, this is a fun technique to do. I like it. Doesn't hurt me at all. Thank you.